in the words of Cat William, <laughs> all the truth that has been hidden is going to come out this year. Every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. I to take my own part in exposing some of the truths that have been hidden <laughs> for the past three, four months. Welcome back to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Chacha Sue, not Susan or Susie, just Sue. <laughs> I create lifestyle, fashion, beauty type of content on here on YouTube. If that's something that you'd be interested in seeing here, kindly consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Let's get straight to the video. On today's video, will be I'll be doing a life up this type of sit up video. The first truth that has been hidden, the first secret has been I moved to a new location. I have a few factors that made me to move from that apartment, the one that you saw the empty apartment tour from, to this beautiful new apartment that I'm currently in. Let's start with one, power outages in the previous apartment. I work from home. Like seven out of seven days in the week I work from home. So I was living in that apartment. The neighborhood was a nice neighborhood, I'm not gonna lie. It was a very nice neighborhood. But then, <laughs> power outages. When they tell you a specific neighborhood is not for its serenity, <laughs> for really, you guys. Let's say out of seven days, I would have power. Guys, guess what? For only three days, and I work from home, like collective hours, like 24 hours for continuous, like three days, 72 hours in a week, and I work from home. So that in a building, it's okay all the way from my house to come to Westlands, which is like an added cost when I can just work from home and get everything done from home. So I had to come all the way to West Hands to work from there or move for a cafe that's around where I was living to work from there. That was one of the main factors that made me move. Plus, who can't be last time? Your devices are not charged. You cannot, it's, it's just not a place that you can survive in, yeah? The second factor that led me to move in out from that area, I moved during the rainy season, the June period. So when I was going to view the house, the caretaker told me that June in Yanga Panyamba. Mimi kama mkamba, kwe tu kuna jua. Do you get? Kwenye nimetoka, there's a lot of sun and I can't stay in a house that really doesn't have like sunlight coming into the house. I just feel dull considering one, again, I work from home. So at least I need like sun in the house, even if I'm going to take a walk later on in the evening and leave the house or go for a job or something. I still need like sun in the house. So that was like a major contributing factor, another major contributing factor. The other one was the management. Um, it used to take forever for them to respond. I'm just going to say that. To respond to an issue. Let's say, Nicola should they magic on number. They take, let's say, like two to three days to come fix the water. So the management just wasn't easy. I really don't like confrontation and I don't like going back and forth when it comes to specific like things. I basically I just don't like confrontation in any sort of confrontation. <laughs> I don't like any sort of confrontation. The other factor that highly contributed to me moving from that neighborhood was the security. When I was moving to that specific apartment, I moved in June, as I've mentioned. When I moved in June, the neighbors were like, oh yeah, it's been a nice place and all that. Security is really okay. You can even go jog at 4 a.m. and all that. You can even jog at 4 a.m., which was okay till around November, December, the festive season. So around the festive season, November, December period, there were a lot of cases security like insecurity cases for example one of the neighbors in that apartment was dropped into gunpoint it was that bad i was threatened like if you don't say hi to us we're going to break you we know that you usually come home if this and this time then those the the insecurity thing was more of like ethnic profiling i don't like being in a neighborhood where the predominant tribe or the predominant you get let's just say tribalism will threaten the minority it was like that ethnic proper ethnic profiling that's what i'm going to say about that just if you're not understanding that kindly just look it up i don't like talking about specific topic topics on here on my youtube channel because it might one might be a little bit contradicting the insecurity became a lot for example <laughs> i was coming from home at around 9 p pm i'd come from working in westlands job with a steamer right so where the apartment was, where the apartment still is, is like 500 meters from the main road. So place I should show my tattoo, it's like 500 meters and I'll get to my apartment complex. I was walking through that, there's a, like, like a footpath. Walking through that footpath to get my, to get to the house. So I, I, I noticed that I'm being followed by a group of like six, six guys. Then they're like, hi, I will always say hi to this. And you see, 
just yeah i was like hi hi one of them didn't hear i don't know if they didn't hear what i said or if i said hi back then they're just like um you're refusing to say hi to us and you know the time that you usually get home and on top of that we're going to rape you because you didn't say hi to us the next time we see we're going to rape you the security was back to a point where there was a lady who was an, almost like 60 a grandma a 60 year old grandma who was raped and killed it just wasn't as place that i would want to stay so when the security the insecurity started heightening I, t- I asked my sister if i can come stay with her for like my birthday period then she can help me house hands then she also decided that she would want to move from where she was living please go watch more vlogs they're really fire i'll put her youtube channel here uh, we house hunted for like two months and when i was almost giving up i found this beautiful apartment that i am obsessed with and i'm very happy living here i didn't know the beginning with guys yeah it's been a beautiful journey so far in this apartment i'm filming it around 3 am you see guys how much i love it i've been in this house for two months two weeks and i absolutely love the neighborhood mezoya the neighborhood and all that also it had gotten to a point where in that house i wasn't happy so i wasn't able to film as much content and i wasn't as productive because if i'm not happy and okay mentally then i'm not going to perform on my like day-to-day basis so i took a break from content creation but we're definitely back we are rebranding <laughs> yeah we are rebranding so this is another now another update life update we are rebranding our youtube channel just how i portray myself on here okay i'm going to be very vulnerable of course i've been from the past two vlogs you guys have seen i've become very open with you guys i'm telling you guys things on in detail i'm hooking you guys with different things here and there so yeah i just wanted to come on here and update you guys on where we are currently in life i am very happy grateful to god and very content I love this apartment so much it's so cute i'm not going to be giving you guys a house tour yet i'll to completely furnish it then i'll give you like a fully furnished apartment tour then then but i'll be updating you guys on like house updates here and there kind of new curtains i bought curtains last week so please go watch that <laughs> youtube video and kindly give this video thumbs up in case there's someone else who wants to join our family youtube is going to recommend these videos to them and if you're watching don't subscribe you kindly subscribe to my youtube channel i love you guys so much i'll see you on the next that's it for today's video if you enjoyed this video kindly give it a thumbs up tell me how you guys are doing more of like a also give me guys like an update <laughs> if you've reached this point of the video kindly comment with kindly write prefer see me now and with the prefer so <laughs> comment prefer down below and tell me that you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends as well so that you can join our little family road to 500 subscribers okay actually road to a thousand subscribers i'll see you on the next one bye Mwah.